you have a believer that has an abusive husband and they want a divorce. Now, this is this would seem to be a tricky situation, but it's not. Uh, divorce would not be lawful in this context, but separation would be permissible. There are no principles in the Bible against marital separation. Separation is when the two people are still legally married, but they're living in separate places. Now, in this case in which somebody's life is being threatened, they still can't get a divorce, but they can separate. There's no principle against separation. What people would usually do in this scenario would say that, okay, I know the Bible doesn't allow it, but come on, let's let's be compassionate. No, that's not how this works. It's like saying that someone is starving and they want to steal food. Oh, okay, I know the Bible says it's not good to steal, but come on, they're hungry. That's not how this works. We don't get to use um, genuinely tough situations to try to rid us of being bound to divine law. We're still bound to divine law, even if people are in straightening conditions. The principle is the principle. The only acceptable ground for divorce when the marriage is between two believers is sexual immorality. If sexual immorality is not committed, there's no ground for divorce. The only ground for divorce is sexual immorality if you're dealing with two Christians. Uh, abuse is not a ground for divorce. Physical abuse is not a ground for divorce. Emotional abuse is not a ground for divorce. Uh, sexual incompatibility is not a ground for divorce. Uh, financial situation is not a ground for divorce. Barrenness is not a ground for divorce. Sh troubles with in-laws is not a ground for divorce. We can't just make up grounds for divorce. That's not how the law works. Just like you can't go to a human court and try to make up laws as you go and try to, you know, you committed a crime and you're trying to, oh no, but I, I'm making an exception. You can't be the one to make exception to the laws. You're not the lawmaker. God is the lawmaker. The principle is it is a sin to divorce except for the ground of sexual morality. It is never going to change. And so in a situation in which a believer is being abused, they can separate, but they cannot divorce. And the other believer also cannot move for a, a divorce. They, they are in that marriage. It's just that simple. Uh, and this is why we have to be careful. That's a different teaching about getting married. People are so anxious for marriage. Uh, people are overly excited to get married when they're not ready for marriage. Get into a marriage is disastrous and then they're trying to break God's principles to get out of a tough situation. No, no. Apply God's wisdom before you get married. Don't try to now find a way to get out of this. And I'm not being, you know, I'm not trying to be uh, incompassionate, but this is the reality. Uh, we can't, we don't get to break and bend God's rules because we're in tough situations. The principle is that it's a sin to, to divorce except for the ground of sexual immorality. And so in this case, with a believer having an abusive husband or wife, whatever the case may be, uh, they would not be allowed by God to divorce. They can still get a divorce, it just be sin. And if they remarry, it's still a sin, it'd still be adultery. Um, so they would have an adulterous marriage. It'd be, it'd be the equivalent of me being married and getting married to another person. God would see it as equal. And so you can, you can do whatever you wanna do, but it'd still be a sin. Um, not that it can't be forgiven, of course, but then again, think with somebody who doesn't even, there are people that don't even think it's a sin in the first place. So they, they, that sin can't be forgiven. They don't even think it's a sin. That's like me going to kill somebody and then trying to justify it. It's, I can't be forgiven for a sin I have not repented for. There are people who are in adulterous marriages because they got divorced and the divorce wasn't for the reason of sexual morality and they're in another marriage and they're trying to twist scripture to you know, agree with that situation. It's a sin and there's no way around it. And yeah, that's just the reality. And so in this scenario, divorce would not be lawful, but separation would be permissible. 